the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival returns to Walt Disney World from March 4th through May 17th. And there is so much to experience here in Epcot that today I'm gonna to share with you my top five things to see, do, enjoy, and eat. Let's go. First thing you should do when you arrive at Epcot is to pick up your free 2015 Garden Passport. It's available at the Festival Center, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays at the Wonders of Life Pavilion or throughout World Showcase. It's your guide not just to the activities throughout the weekends, but the Garden Rocks concert series, the outdoor kitchens, event merchandise, and garden destinations. Plus, as you travel through all of these destinations and kitchens, you can chronicle your travels with the passport by receiving a unique free stamp found at select locations. In addition to the thousands of beautiful plantings throughout Future World and World Showcase, be sure and check your park guide map to see if you can find the more than 20 different topiaries scattered throughout the park, including the brand new Anna and Elsa, Chippendale, and the Flying Peter Pan. Flower and Garden Festival has something for adults and kids alike, including two play areas, the Monsters University Mike and Sully Monsters Garden and the Cactus Road Rally play area featuring Lightning McQueen and Mater. And of course, Disney didn't forget the adults as well, giving them a place to play too. And by play, I mean a place to sit on a comfortable chair watching their kids in the shade. One of the most popular and fascinating parts of the Flower and Garden Festival is the Butterflies on the Go exhibit. It's a great opportunity to learn about the journey of the monarch butterfly across the continent, learn how to grow your own butterfly garden, and see if you can spot one of the 11 different types of butterflies you'll find inside. Also, be sure and see if you can spot some of the butterflies emerging from the chrysalis. I have saved my personal favorite for last on the list because I think you should bring your passport and your appetite and explore and enjoy all 12 of the outdoor kitchens here in World Showcase from the Pineapple Promenade, to the Primavera Kitchen, to the brand new Botanis Botanica. There's something here for everybody's palate. And of course, every outdoor kitchen has a perfectly paired beverage to help wash down your tapas sized portion. From beers and wines, to ciders and non-alcoholic lemonades and iced teas, there is something for everybody. What is your favorite part of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival? Leave your answer in the comments below. Tweet me at Lou Mangiello or call the voicemail Call me from the Flower and Garden Festival, 407-900-9391, and I'll play it on the air. I'm Lou Mangiello. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video from the Flower and Garden Festival where I share my top five things that you need to taste while you're here as well. I'm Lou Mangiello. Thanks for watching.